Hi everybody, I hope everyone's doing well. This video I will be sharing with you guys my November favorites, so if you guys are interested, do stick around. So this November, this past month, I really have quite a few amazing favorites to share with you guys. Some of them I just discovered and they really are just new to me this month, but the others are rediscoveries that I am very happy that I have reintroduced in my daily regimen. I'm going to begin with complexion and still this month I have stuck with my Dior Skin Star Foundation. I've really just been enjoying this almost even more than just a special foundation even during the day if i had something more important to do or an important meeting to attend i actually would put on a thin layer of this over a complexion based product and i've thoroughly been enjoying it it does not break down in spite of the humidity and my combination skin and at the same time it does not look too cakey it really depends how i apply it but still very much the foundation of well the superstar foundation for me this past month another complexion product which is a read well a rediscovered complexion product is the nars creamy concealer this one is in custard medium <clears throat> i did stop using this when i finished my first I think I just it took me like three months or maybe even less and I tried the Chanel perfection corrector and it seems very similar in terms of coverage and it both comes in this kind of a of packaging which looks like a gloss packaging but definitely NARS creamy concealer hands down it truly does not break down and the undertone of mustard medium is just perfect for my MAC NC30 skin which pulls more in the yellow medium tone and it's really worked very well for me as a retouching kind of complexion product throughout the day. And then for skincare, the Shiseido Ultimune introduced this this about end of October but I have thoroughly been enjoying it as my serum day and night before any moisturizer and it is very reminiscent of a lot of the thinner serums that I enjoy that are hyaluronic base for this past month I was reaching for it constantly another product which I used so much this month and I think really did improve the texture of my skin it is a retexturizing moisturizer this is my philosophy hope in a jar night which is my favorite and um, my night treatment of choice this past month is absolutely amazing as well it's a second product from the brand that i thoroughly enjoy and i used the ultimune and hope in a jar night in tandem almost straight the entire month texture is definitely a concern and this has really helped tremendously now for nail polishes and usually i don't really have favorites when it comes to nail polishes but this month, in spite of it almost being the holidays, well, actually, it is already the holiday season, I've really been sticking to my nudes and pale colors for some reason. And typically, especially when it's fall, winter, or the holiday season is already around, I'm usually in my burgundy, dark wine shades, very winter-like, or very red shades. But recently that has not been the case and i don't know if it's because in manila it's still very hot and humid but probably that is one of the reasons but there are these two polishes that i've thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed this is the two right here this one is by cnd v vinyl vinyl lux weekly polish it's the first time i've been introduced to this brand and apparently i think it's from the u.s and this is the only whitish polish i've always wanted to use some kind of a white polish on my on my nails without looking like like a liquid pen corrector but this one just hit the spot this is in white studio or studio white number 151 i don't have it on right now but and it really looked very good on my skin tone it didn't look like white out and it was a beautiful white toned nude 
what I liked about it as well was it's a long wear. It literally lasted me for a whole week without shipping, which is very rare for me. And the second one is by Zoya. Zoya for me, I thoroughly enjoy Zoya. I think compared to Essie and OPI, I have more luck finding things constantly, more consistently that I like with Zoya. And unfortunately, just in Manila, it's not as easy to get your hands on. This one is in Chantal, which is what I have on my nails right now. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's a beautiful nude that does not pull too brown or too pale or too pink on my skin tone. And I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy this. For lips, it's been the same story. I've been sticking to very nude shades. The first favorite is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Reshape and Resize Lip Liner. This one is in Pillow Talk. It's a beautiful beige nude. It has a bit of a pink undertone, but it's not too brown, it's not too pink. I'm using it as a lip liner, but I even fill in my lip more than just that, and it's worked really well. And sometimes, if it's just for the day, I actually skip the lipstick, and I've been using this next favorite, which is something that I've fallen in love with because I haven't really reached much for this brand in almost a year, and I used to be such an avid fan of this brand, but it just had not really impressed me in so long, except for this one, which is the new formula of the Chanel Rouge Allure Gloss. <coughs> Excuse me. It comes in this new packaging now, which is the one click, similar to their lipsticks. Does not help when you're trying to get the shade, but in terms of the packaging, amazing. And it still does get a bit dirty on the top though. So this one is a true nude and it is just that's how it looks it has a beautiful sheen to it which is not so glossy like the glossy mirrors but at the same time it is not transparent it's a bit more opaque you really get the color that they show you in the tester which is something i absolutely love and it is not a stain so it doesn't feel tacky at all it is just beautiful. It's a beautiful formula and I love the fact that finally Chanel has come out with a lip gloss product that really gives you the color and the opacity that you expect especially after seeing the tester. This is a beautiful beautiful even for the day and for the night with a nude lip absolutely gorgeous with a Charlotte Tilbury. And then another one for the lips this is this has quickly made its way to my top and I've reached for this more than any of my lipsticks in this caliber, more than even Tom Ford. It's the Gucci Audacious Intense Lip Color in Whisper. This is how it looks. It looks very pink on the one or sorry, on the bullet, but when you put it on, and even on my mid-tone lip, see how more pink it looks on the bullet. But actually, especially on my mid-tone lip, it looks like just a beautiful nude pink. It is not as bright as what this looks. And because I have mid-tone pink lips, it actually just gives it an even tone. It is very opaque and very moisturizing and creamy without being slippery. I absolutely adore this formula. It reminds me of NARS Audacious, but honestly, because... I've been reaching for this so much more. I even think the formulation is much better than NARS Audacious. Yes, I will go that far. It's just, it is beautiful to put on. It is like the Tom Ford lipstick, actually. I don't know. Maybe we'll do a comparative review, but I would have, it will take me a bit more time to figure out who will win, but they're that close. Another product that I've thoroughly loved this month, and this is something that I think deserves its own video as well is from Giorgio Armani. This is the Eye and Brow Maestro, which looks like a pot product. This is how it looks. <coughs> Excuse me. Forgive me for my throat. I've been having issues. This product is definitely very unique. It is the first product that is extremely multi-purpose. You can use it to contour from your your eyebrow, your, your crease. You can use it to fill in your brows. You can use it to even contour your cheeks. It is definitely an all-around as it's marketed. This one is in 06 Copal, 
what she looks like. So it's a mid-tone, I would say taupey brown. It's not very brown. It, ha it has a gray undertone, but because of that, it pulls neutral and it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, even to warm or to contour your, your complexion or your face slightly. It just works absolutely amazing. As a contour for the face, it reminds me of the Holy Grail Soleil Tan de Chanel. I don't know if this is better, but for it to remind me or to even come close to that is definitely a feat because nothing has come close to that. And then this month, well, the past few months actually, Red Cherry Eyelashes in 747S. I just, I, I love it. It is just the right size and length for me. Well, not size, I still have to trim it a bit. It is very easy to put. The band is not too stiff or too soft where it's difficult to manipulate, but it gives me the length that I like, which is not too much, not too little, not too crazy looking, but definitely more defined. I don't have it on me right now, but definitely the difference I see when I put it on is amazing. What I love about this is it just, it's the perfect length for me without looking too crazy or too obvious, but at the same time, it is there and you really see how different your eye looks and just the ease and, and putting it on is just amazing. I am such a fan of Red Cherry Lashes and they don't even break the bank. They are very affordable, but they're better than Ardell for me. Last but not the least is my Universal Beauty Oil in number four, which is the Lavender variant. And the Universal Beauty Oils that I have is what I've been using as my body moisturizer for over a year now. The Lavender, we've just, started making maybe three months ago and it is just if I want a well rested six to eight hour sleep this is what I reach for and a lot of people sometimes well I was one of them who wasn't really such a believer in you know the effects of aromatherapy but I don't think I've ever come across a product that's actually been so effective for me but no fail if I use this one as my night moisturizer. I do not break my sleep or wake up sometime in the middle of the night, which is something that I usually do. It's just my body clock after three or four hours, I get up and I, I have the bad habit of checking my phone or checking my mail and end up doing something for 30 minutes or an hour. But when I want a good night straight rest and I know I need it, I reach for this and no fail, I just sleep the whole night through. And actually, I do have two more favorites. These two are from MAC, and I haven't really, I do have blushes that are staples in my kit from MAC, but I haven't really used it personally on myself. These two blushes have been go-tos for me, and they don't look very promising or amazing in the, in the pot, but lately I've really been gravitating towards mattes and very nude, kind of just give my warmth, my skin warmth back. The warmth of my skin back this one is in copper tone which is what I've reached for quite a bit actually copper tone and gingerly they're both matte they're both very just you know they don't look like very promising they look very beigey brown they're not really pink or coral or peach which is what you're typically used to but they look amazing especially copper tone gingerly I've heard a lot about so I did grab it when I came across it but copper tone is just it's not so brown it doesn't have that much brown undertones to be called a bronzer or even a contour but for some reason on my skin it has the effect of being that and a blush as well it doesn't give me a harsh contour but on its own it serves two purposes in giving warmth back to my skin and serve it as a blush as well. So I've thoroughly been enjoying it. Those are about it. Those are were my favorites in the past month. I hope you guys found that interesting and informative. Thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a great day or a great evening.